Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Colonel Manpreet Singh contributed for 17 years in uniform before taking a bullet for India in Anantanag. He was just completing his tenure with the Rashtriya Rifles in about four months, post which he would probably have been transferred to another station. He survived by a six-year-old son and a two-year-old daughter. Colonel Manpreet Singh's brother is saying that he spoke to his brother that morning around 6.45 a.m. He had only a brief chat because his brother was busy and he was to call him back that evening. That evening never came, ladies and gentlemen. Major Dhonchak was conferred the Sena Medal just this year and he survived by a two-year-old daughter, a wife and three sisters who he was the world for. His first cousin brother is also in the army. He was to move into his new family home next month and he said he would be back in October for the move when he came last. That October never came, ladies and gentlemen. And ladies and gentlemen, Father Gulam Jasan Bhatt is a retired police officer who laid the wreath lathing ceremony for his own son, Deputy SP JNK Police, Humayun Bhatt. And as that father walked, all of India could sense the heaviness of his feet, the pride in his paws, and what he felt in his heart as he laid that wreath. Ladies and gentlemen, when those sons take the bullet for you and me, for a purpose that keeps our freedoms intact, our sovereignty intact, our own children safe in the comforts of our homes in front of our TV sets, there's only gratitude, deep, deep gratitude, ladies and gentlemen. There's only a feeling that there is a purpose so high for the nation that none of it matters apart from it. And as you see these coffins go back home, sisters broken, wives consoling their just bonds, fathers crisscrossed between emotion and pride, there is a vow that we owe as Indians to these families when we salute the martyrdom of the Anantanag encounter. We owe a promise as Indians first to not sully these moments with the cacophony that people from these India lines do, like Farooq Abdullah, of talking to Pakistan. This dotted alliance leaders are crossing the limit, ladies and gentlemen. This is too much. We must, as Indians, first shut down this entire lobby of politicians who have only profiteered from Pakistan's agenda on our soil for decades, generations now, who have no respect for the larger purpose of nationhood or nationalism or respect to the families, if nothing else than respect to justify the blood of their own flowing for the sake of the sovereignty of this great nation. What does Farooq Abdullah ever know? For Farooq Abdullah is also a dynast. What does Farooq Abdullah know about solutions to Kashmir when he was the biggest backer of the separatists himself? What do they know? What will Mehbooba Mufti ever know about the solution of Kashmir when she can't stop singing endless praise for Pakistani sponsored terrorists through time? I am saying tonight to this India Alliance, end it. Stop it once and for all. Get the loyalty pledge to the nation. There is a wave of nationalism in the country. Unite against the cacophony. People are watching. It is the least we owe to our armed forces who as we speak still have an operation on. Still have an operation on. Are you hearing me, Farooq Abdullah? Just keep quiet, if nothing else. Ladies and gentlemen, we must debate.